I believe exactly, Barcelona. I live a small city, 100 kilometers north of Barcelona, Bill. Eight kilo two. Papa Alpha Zulu. Echo Alpha three. Bravo Ocean X-ray. Uh, get a selfie, lover. Still running 100 watts and an embed halfway in the inverted V configuration. Uh, a lot of you enjoyed my review of the SI4732 micro receiver. It's versatile, but some aspects of its performance weren't great. But there were improvements. There's a very comprehensive video by OM0ET, who looks mainly at two things. First of all, the firmware, and then ways of improving the receiver's sensitivity especially with a small antenna. First of all the firmware developed by Dave G8PTN and I can highly recommend it. It does a few things that make the receiver much easier to use. For instance there's a bigger S meter, there's easier tuning, greater range of tuning steps, you don't have the muting when you're tuning on the one kilohertz steps that makes using it much more pleasant if you're tuning through an amateur band. Uh, nice, uh, yes. Uh, I haven't been uh, working too many Gen Elders lately, uh, and, and even on Australians. Uh, I've never seen snow in my life, hi hi. <laughs> A few other benefits as well. Anyway, won't go into them in too much detail. Have a look at OM0ET's video, which I'll have a link to below. Another thing that was mentioned in that video was improved sensitivity, particularly if just using the telescopic antenna. The receiver has quite high internal noise and one of the issues is apparently there's an impedance mismatch between its input and when you're using a very small antenna which has a very reactive capacitance type of impedance load. So there's an impedance mismatch and there's other issues like the internal noise that's generated within the receiver. Anyway, one fix for that, if you do intend to use the receiver just as a handheld type unit, is to add a little FET RF preamp, which also does a bit of impedance transformation. Here's a rough idea of the circuit. A much better circuit again is in OM0ET's video. I did build it just as an external unit and it did work. It did improve the sensitivity with a telescopic antenna but there's ways that you can do even better which I'll talk about later on. Something I forgot to mention is that the headphone socket on the right isn't really a proper headphone socket. It's more a line out. The output level isn't very much so there are often times where you actually get a louder volume if you rely on the internal speaker than if you are listening with headphones which detracts from this set's use as a portable receiver if you just want to use the headphone reception so just bear that in mind you may find an external audio amplifier useful uh, overload, yes that can be a problem, um, I tried a nail match antenna coupler uh, to provide a bit of improved impedance matching, I also tried magnetic loops, I've got two loops, one that does mainly 21 through to 50 megahertz and another that goes even lower in frequency. Here's a quick example of what I was able to achieve with the magnetic loop, it did work quite well and it being a sharply tuned antenna,
that improved the selectivity and uh, resistance to overload and other extraneous signals. That's not so much of a problem where I am here, but I tried this receiver at another beach, other side of Melbourne, which is nearer to some of the AM broadcast stations, and the overload on this was quite abysmal. It almost made the receiver unusable on a lot of frequencies. So you may have to pay attention to front end, things like pre-selections, attenuation, may be required depending on your location. Here we are, I'm receiving 20 meters SSB and I've got a capacitor across so that brings its resonant frequency down. Normally this loop only does 21 megahertz and up. What about the front end RF preamp that I mentioned before? My first experiment was building this FET preamp using an MPF 102, just basically this part of the circuit there. If you've got small surface mount components, you can do as in the OMOET video and build this inside the receiver. I didn't, I wanted it as a external unit so I could do some experiments. Anyway, it did work. It was worthwhile, but I looked at other circuits for similar type of RF preamps, in this case active antennas, and they had an extra stage. Um, in this case a bipolar transistor, a BC548, and that extra stage gave much more gain than with just the FET, possibly because of the better impedance matching. If you are very good with electronics and surface mount, you may still be able to build this inside the receiver. I didn't. I chose instead to build it on a piece of circuit board material here. I've just got a BNC socket attached to it. And you can see not very many components, just three or four resistors, a couple of capacitors, the two transistors, and that was it and I built this on a piece of circuit board material. Now this is double sided which is probably not ideal but what I did was just to reduce the amount of stray capacitance that you'd have between one side and the other I used a hacksaw to cut these into squares um, on the underside as I did for the top side which in this case the squares are used as pads to mount the various components. So I've got attached here a telescopic antenna from an old radio and the power supply it's external just using a 3.7 volt battery 18650. It doesn't draw a lot of current so you may be able to use a much smaller battery maybe even two triple A's, they would last quite a long time. And then via adapters, this goes onto the top, onto the antenna socket of the receiver. Anyway, that made a big difference, and it meant that you could usefully use the receiver with a telescopic whip, receiving a lot more signals. And it was even surprisingly good down on the AM broadcast band, hearing signals from all over Australia at night. Here's some demonstrations of reception at various frequencies. Um, I 
think it's likely. Following the resignation of Liberal Senator Annabel Rankin in 1971, Bonner was chosen to fill the vacancy. Roger, Roger, you are 5'9 and running 5 watts, 5 watts QRP, over. Okay, great job for 5 watts and uh, 73 thanks for the call. Thanks. No QRP, plus about QRP, you got to Right, it was great to work. QRP, plus about 5 watts. I am QRP, 5 watts, 73. 